we're here today at uh, St John's the Apostle Church in Longsight, Manchester. It's uh, it's the site of a recent video that, uh, that, that that I made, and and it's been all across the internet. It's been around the world on the internet. Um, quite a powerful video actually, because it's regarding the desecration of this that was once a Christian burial ground. Now, the history to it is that. Uh, this church was sold to uh, uh, an Islamic group who we'll turned it into a mosque. They decided they wanted a car park and Manchester City Council gave them permission to turn what was a Christian graveyard into uh, this car park. Yeah, we had a report from local concerned residents and um, I had a, personally had a telephone call telling us that, that basically uh, there was excavators on site smashing up Christian gravestones. Now I didn't at first believe the report so I came you know because I thought well there's no one um, would go to them sort of extreme lengths. Um, certainly not in, in, in view of everyone. Well, we came round and uh, it proved to be absolutely correct as the previous film that we made uh, proves beyond any doubt. Um, Christian Gravestone has been Tracked upon by an excavator, smashed up with a bucket, and turned into hard on the floor, in readiness for, for, for being covered in tarmac, no doubt. Since, since we highlighted this case on the internet, um, Manchester City Council have had the job stopped. Obviously, they should never have let it happen in the first place. Um, but since then, we, we, we contacted every British newspaper. <laughs> including the, the television stations, media outlets. Not a single one of them wanted to report anything on, on the subject. Obviously, it's a taboo subject. Yeah, the only the only two reports that came out regarding regarding this were from two local rags, uh, both of these sister papers anyway, the Manchester Evening News and the Asian News. <laughs> now, both of these newspapers, or so-called newspapers, reported the story in a totally biased manner, uh, saying uh, claiming that uh, Manchester Council didn't know there were any graves on the site, which. It's absolutely ridiculous considering it was a graveyard. Um, they also made excuses for the people who perpetrated the desecration of, of, of this graveyard. As if as if the, you know they weren't to know that there were any graves there. In both these reports, as I say, there was no accusations of racism, uh, there was no mention of the fact that these gravestones had been unceremoniously crushed with, a, with, a, with an excavator beyond any recognition. Now, if you compare that with a recent report that's just come out, um, this week in fact, the Manchester Evening News... <laughs> Manchester Evening News is reporting a, a, a vile racist attack on a Muslim graveyard just a few miles down the road here at Southern Cemetery, a couple of miles away. Now, I absolutely condemn this attack, which is uh, it's, it's disgraceful to attack any graveyard, no matter whether it's Christian, Muslim, Muslim Jewish, what, whatever religion, colour, creed, race, whatever, it's a disgrace to attack any graveyard. I'm just trying to highlight the total hypocrisy of the media in, in the UK. The Manchester Evening News is reporting this as if it's, you know, the, the, the worst thing that's ever happened, whereas, whereas the, original, the original attack on this graveyard 
wasn't even, was it, they didn't even want to report it in the first place. While the media have uh, kept silent about what has happened here, they've been anything but quiet about the other act which has occurred just down the road. Um, they've described that one as vile, racist, and all the other words that the media normally use to describe the indigenous population of these islands. I absolutely strongly condemn the act of vandalism at uh, Southern Cemetery. Without any doubt whatsoever, it, it, it is a disgrace. I'd also like to condemn what has happened here, and I'd like to condemn the media for not reporting it in a fair manner. Because if you're going to, if, if we're going to report Muslim graves being desecrated, we should be re also reporting Christian graves being desecrated in the same sort of, with the same funeral. I'd like to ask the British media why they did not report this in the same manner as they reported the Muslim graveyards being desecrated. I'd also like to ask Greater Manchester Police why it is a hate crime to push over Muslim gravestones. When it isn't deemed as a hate crime to crush Christian gravestones with a digger beyond any sort of recognition. I think all we're asking here for is a, is a level playing field. I, ho I hope that, uh, that, that the media in the UK will take notice and will start to report, report these sort of things in an unbiased manner.